And welcome back to Life Fun Rehearse, celebrating on St. Patrick's Day. Matt Delvecchio here. Hope you're having a great day. So, did you get to the parade today? That was the 199th year the parade took place. Next year's number 200 big year. I didn't get to the parade today, but I did manage to work my way to Hurley's Pub on, on Friday, actually. Man, oh man, what a zoo. And if it was a zoo on Friday, I've seen some pictures already on social media for today. Just love Hurley's. Hey, congrats to the Grand Marshal. Mike Kennedy and the Chief Reviewing Officer, Patty McCann. Just uh, wonderful people. Very appropriate choice as uh, Patty's done so much in organizing many past parades. Um, if you didn't catch today's parade, maybe you were out in Hudson yesterday at the St. Patrick's Day Parade, parade put on by the Soulange Irish Society. And the Grand Marshal there was Brian Greenway from April Wine fame. And the Irish Woman of the Year was Kim Sullivan. The Chief Reviewing Officer was the Mayor of Hudson, Chloe Hutchinson. And we can't better, uh, forget about the Queen. That was Veronica Gilmore. Congratulations to all. And I know one person that's quite involved with the Solange Irish Society. That's Ken Doran. In fact, Ken was last year's Irishman of the Year. I have Ken on the line. Ken, welcome to Life Unrehearsed. Happy St. Patrick's Day, there, Matt. <laughs> hope, uh, hope, hope uh, today was uh, was. Uh, I know you didn't. You said you didn't get to the parade, but. Being any time in an Irish pub this weekend well, must have been a hoot. Absolutely was. You know, and I have to, my mother keeps reminding me with a name like Del Vecchio being very Italian. Well, half of me is Irish, so I got to celebrate. My mom is Irish. And uh, uh, so uh, happy St. Patty's Day, Mom. And uh, so, Ken, thank you for taking a little time. Uh, thank I, you. I wanted to get uh, get you on. And first of all, tell us a little bit about yourself and, and your family. Uh, well, I, I have quite a big family. We have uh, six children, six grandchildren. Um, but um, I, mean, I was involved in the Irish community for about 40 years, downtown and, and out in Sulaun, where before it was called the Hudson um, St. Paddy's Day Parade, and now, now it's the Sulaun and that sort of thing. But yes, it's, uh, you know, it, it's a great time of year. It, it, it's a time for spirit. Spring is around the corner. And uh, the truth is, is that uh, it's also about giving back. You know, we do we do do some fundraising around this time of year, um, especially in the Irish community, and uh, and and we we like to give back to local charities that make a difference in our. Uh, well, you know, Everyday life. you know, good on you for mentioning that. It's the number one reason why I wanted to, to get you on. And Ken, and first of all, to, to thank you for all the work you do for many charitable contributions. You really do a lot. Just this week alone, you were the man behind a couple of fundraisers, including the one for Nova West Island, which was held at Cunningham's Pub, and another one for the Teresa Deller Palliative Care Residence at McGibbon's Pub. Yes. Both very, very successful fundraisers for uh, these two amazing organizations. So I just let's go back a bit. Uh, Ken, where did you get this from how'd you get involved with supporting all these charities and, and non-profit organizations oh, I, i've been doing it for about 20 years my father uh my father you know the way we were brought up was you know you get give back good things will happen to you and, you, and you'll be fortunate and yeah, I, I don't know i've done it for like i said over 20 years i do music i do comedy i do casino nights uh, depending on the organization and depending on the cause um, people call me to help them out, and then other times, like in the case with Nova and um, the Teresa Dollar Palette of Care, uh, Nova we started two years ago when I was Irish Minute Year because I believe in, like I said, you know, you got to give back to the people around you, and especially the charitable organizations that that need the funds and do make a difference in your in your neighborhood. And I know you're very familiar with Nova. Matt, so you know, I won't explain it, but 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 they do make such a huge impact in just in our neighborhood. Yeah. And uh, the Teresa Deller, this was our tenth anniversary. It started just ten years ago with McKibbins, and uh, we just we decided, you know, ten years ago, he's lucky around St. Patrick's Day that the pub does very well, like most Irish pubs do. Mm -hmm. He said, "Let's do something to get back on the Friday." So we turned the old media day into a charitable breakfast. So, well, uh, you know. Good on you. And both have been uh, successful. And, and yes. I know the organizations uh, are very appreciative of all your work. You, can you, you know, I know what you do behind the scenes. I don't think uh, the general public has any idea the work <laughs> involved. And you're giving a lot of your time, your own time and effort to do that. I'll never forget, Ken, you were, you were very instrumental back in our Habs alumni charity game a few <laughs> years yes, ago sir. where we packed the Point Clear Arena and had the, the whole Habs alumni. Over 2,000 people. They said it was the... Uh, 
uh, one of the largest, uh, um, I guess, fan base uh, since the opening many, many years ago. And a lot of that was due in no part to your efforts and and uh, making that a very successful uh, event. So on behalf of these charitable organizations, Ken, I want to really want to thank you. Oh, and, thank you. Uh, you know, uh, I understand you had a little bit of a health scare and you're trying to deal with all that on the most important yeah. week of the year. So uh, I hope you're feeling better, uh, Ken, and, and, and doing well. I did. You talk about comedy. You're always laughing and comedy is such a big part of what you do with other charitable uh, events. You've yeah. put on some very successful comedy and laughter events. Can you tell us uh, why? What's what's um, what's the uh, the passion with comedy and laughter? Well, since we're on CJD, and it's very uh, apropos that um, when Ernie Butler got sick, um, Joey Elias is a really good friend of mine. We've been friends for almost 40 years. And when uh, Ernie Butler got sick uh, between the comedy show on CJD and the Comedy Nest, we Joey set up and took over the comedy show that was on CJD. And believe it or not, I went and, over, went and helped out at the Comedy Nest for two years as a manager and a producer and bringing in the different acts. So I have always loved comedy. It's a great form of, uh, of entertainment, and it's a great source to make revenue for a charitable organization. It's not, it's not very difficult. It doesn't cost a lot of money. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's a good way to get the, the grassroots mm-hmm. of, our, uh, our, of our community um, some funds right away. Well, you're, you're, I think you're, you're being a little humble, Ken, because you're saying it's not uh, it's not that difficult, but it is a lot to gather everyone. Mm-hmm. Many com- comedians giving their own time on their dime for these successful fundraisers. So you know what, Ken, I, I really want to thank you for taking a little time on uh, what is probably your biggest week of the year normally. <laughs> and, well, and, 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 in our house we call it Ken's Christmas. <laughs> well, you've got the best wife and Jennifer and, and uh, six kids, rock star grandkids. And Ken, just want to thank you very much for all you do. Well, thank you, Matt. Thank you for having me on. And happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. <laughs> right, thank you. That's Ken Doran. He's the past Irishman of the year of the Soulage uh, Irish Society and just an overall good guy. And I uh, hope he comes back to health here and bounce back and um, you know support a lot of the causes that he's supporting as well.